Okay. We learned how to write songs, kind of. <laughs> well, the structure, yeah. seriously, there was, if you go and listen we back to about, our debut yeah. album, there was no song structure. There wasn't any structure, there was no chorus or verse or... Sometimes like, people talk about the chorus, but it was just the bit with singing <clears throat> that happens once in the song, or the chorus. I was a guitarist, I didn't know what I was doing, but I blew, it took a while because I'd blow my voice out every couple days. It wasn't until probably the third album that I kind of started getting the hang of what, I, what it was. That was the album that we got our first measurable success with. Where it's like the stuff before was was good and we were doing cool things with it and shows were getting bigger, but that was the album where it was like there was people started really like looking. Actual. It was it was a real mm. thing. This wasn't like a phase. It was a weird album to make because we were kind of between problems within the company that had driven us to a really weird place. We were going through a lot of issues. There was a lot of separation and no one was on the same page with anything. So it was a weird process making the album. Somehow, despite that, we made a pretty good one. I remember we used to look at pictures of, of other bands playing like small dive bars, 200 people, and be like, man, wouldn't that be amazing to do one day? And then we started touring and we'd, we'd play these huge venues, but we'd play like the bar in the huge venue. We'd be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to play that stage one day? And it just, mm -hmm. even now, like we'll play a venue and be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to do that one? It, it's just not changed for us. We've just continually set on ourselves new goals step. and moving forward and there's a lot of bands that do 10 year anniversary tours and and have a huge celebration and for us like super proud of of our debut album it got us to where we were it was our start but i feel like going back and doing 10 year anniversary tours you're not looking forward you're looking back and saying that was the highlight reel so let's go back and and do that and hope people come and see that but if you're looking forward we did that we've already done that if you enjoy what you've just watched, you can download the Music Choice app and it can provide you with more things that you might possibly enjoy. Maybe it'll enrich your life and you'll become an incredibly happy person in your soul.